it certainly seems that the role of police, like that of teachers, has greatly expanded over the years as society has changed. And it's a really good question. Clearly, our police need to increase their range of skills. Now, in Allentown, we're very, very fortunate in that we have a very, very good police academy. Other cities and, and boroughs send their police here to be trained. Clearly, it would be a great idea, and I would certainly advocate for it, that understanding the symptoms of mental illness and how to work with someone who's mentally ill be part of that curriculum. Additionally, two more things. I don't know that the police on the beat have an ongoing continuing education requirement, but if they don't, they certainly should, and learning about this should be part of it. The city's a large system. I mean, and everybody plays a role. And one thing that might help the problem a little bit is for the police, if they don't do it already, to coordinate with the other mental health services in the city so that they can be a conduit for people and information and um, help the situation get a little bit better. Thank you. health issue and our police force, um, I can tell you that at Lehigh Valley Health Network, our psychiatry department is at capacity and there are no more schedules to, that are able to be filled with these, these mental health providers. The, the problem is growing and it's only getting larger and we need people, we need funds, we need teachers, we need educators, we need volunteers to help us with these kids that are autistic, with these kids that are suffering from maybe not clinically mental health problems, but they, they're getting there. And these problems lead to other problems like obesity, like diabetes. Um, it's, it's a huge concern. We have great, great health organizations here in the Valley. And some of the things that I think should be done in, as part of the training for police officers are for them to take a course, take a class. There are many free classes that we do have at Lehigh Valley Health Network. I'm sure St. Luke's does as well and make that part of the training to get them to spend time with mental health patients, to see what they're like, have that human interest, that human interaction, one-on-one, -on -one, so that when you're out on the street patrolling, you look at the person and make sure that you understand, if you can, what they're thinking, what they're doing, what they're capable of. Um, you don't use force, I believe, in protection of our police officers as well, but these, these are kids, and there's a way to change what's going on with them mentally, and we need more people that care about the problem to do something about it. Start with our health organizations, see what they have available, make it part of the curriculum for the police training. 